I think this is maybe a couple hundred dollar up. Signed or something. I like this hat though. I don't know what it makes, but it looks very old. And I could be willing to bet this is a very pricey toy. It's more than a hundred dollar bill. This is a high quality item. That one is gonna head home with me. I'm, I'm quite sure. Let's look, let's look. But I think this one box pays for it all. That looks like a very, very, very juicy box. Chinese jade? Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Oh, this is exquisite. Oh, yes, come on. Come on, something nice. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, we are back with a very, very, very exciting episode of what's inside this storage unit. As you know, I bought three units belonging to one owner. Family didn't want it, he passed away. They said, just let somebody take it over. They could have it. So I basically did that. And this is the third unit. I went through here and put everything that seemed like it might be exciting to look through. And I took the rest of the flea market because we had so many units we bought also at the auction. And we were $569 deep on this and we were well in the prop, but we've already got Alameda load, eBay items. Let's get started anyway. Let's see what's in here. Oh yeah, so real quick, I have a couple days left to get this out. I moved all my paper from the other units into this unit and we have all of this great treasure here. Look at this, I can tell you there's gonna be exciting stuff. Fragile Chinese stuff, China stuff. We got movies, Legos, it looks like a stamp collection. All sorts of things are gonna be coming out of here. We're gonna get started, set this stuff aside and we'll start digging into treasure. Right. First things first, what do we have here? Let's see. Homemade art. Good sign though. Flea Markety, The New Yorker, 1955. Very well taken care of. We have another New Yorker. A lot of good rap for the internet for our sales. I don't know what these are worth. They're just magazine covers. I actually probably would keep the frame and put our own things in them. That's a cool idea because the little woman wanted to find some Disney things. I'm going to send her a message right now. We just bought a unit full of Disney fabric. We can literally put the squares in there and make pictures. We'll see if she likes them. She's very crafty, my love. She is. She is. We got another New Yorker here. And what's this last and final one? This is a New Yorker as well. They're just magazine covers, but I think we're going to end up keeping these cool little frames and making some even the kids pictures there's four of them so we'll see i'll have to wait for her to respond back all right Ooh, holy guacamole the mary tyler moore show i used to watch that leave it to beaver I used to watch that i've seen every single episode of the brady bunch i never really watched this show i didn't like the partridge family I Dream of Genie. I've seen every episode of that. I was raised on Nick at Night as a kid. How many out there of you were raised on Nick at Night like me? Bewitched, seen every episode of that. Look at that, all these seasons, I Dream of Genie. I had a huge crush on Genie actually as a kid. Believe it or not, I had a huge crush on her. The Flying Nun did not really like that show very much. I did watch it, however. And let's see here. We have The Patty Duke Show, Father Knows Best. This will, this will be a lot on my auctions for sure. The Munsters, that's kind of cool. Thursdays, 4 p.m., Bewitched. We'll do all of these DVDs. That is a good lot right there, actually. Very good lot. And then we have this neat Let's see what's in here. Somebody already opened it. Flies. What do you guys think about these? Should these be on the auction? Let's see all the flies we have. That pocket's done through. We have, ooh. We might need that. Let's keep going. It does look like a lot of the boxes are open, but we still might need it. We got sinkers. Ooh, look at that bait. Power bait, fake bait. Click bait. We got some click bait. We have, ooh, look at these handmade flies in really nice cases, actually. So, and some roach clips. 
continuing on. Nothing in those pockets. There's pockets everywhere. This would be a good vest to wear to work. I would have so many pockets to carry things in. Ooh, more little flies. Come on, Rolex watch. No, nope. some bobbers. Often people put their stuff like that. Little rooster tails. My best day of fishing with the rooster tail was on the Eel River in Humboldt County in Rio Dell. I caught 11 fish in 11 casts. Went home, thought something was wrong. I didn't figure out why I was catching so many fish. This is a good little lot of fly fishing though. Eddie Bauer, little leaders. And is that it? What do we got in here? Million dollars? Nope. Ooh, come on. We have the rod to this. We'll have already probably sold, but that is a good, good fly reel right there. A Batten Kill Mark III. That, I would arguably guess without looking it up because I like to make split scission uh, guesses. That's probably a hundred dollar bill right there. And I don't steal any more in there. We went through everything. All right, if you guys want to see the flies and stuff, just comment below and we'll put them in the auction. Ooh, speaking of which, now that we just did the flies, this rod will probably go with that reel. Ooh. <laughs> no. Okay, let's get those needle nose pliers now. Things always work out the way they should work out. If you just trust the universe and your process, you always get what you need. Okay, what do we got in here? See, there's something down in there and I don't know what, so. Oh my gosh. What is this? There's nothing else in there. Well, I'm almost about to give up. We've made it this far, but we can't at this point. It's a broken, it's a broken reel. Okay, I see what's going on here now. That is kind of cool though. We'll just shove that all back in the hole here. The tip was broken on it, just the tip. Ooh, pirate, we're leaving things off that need to go back on. Well, I'll probably put that, I think I have a potential another fly rod in here. We'll see soon. Oh, this might be a good one. Vegetable guy. Very interesting pattern. I, I don't know if we, we've never really done rugs on the auction before, but rugs are very valuable. And this one looks like something that is at least, rug guys are funny. When you see them at the flea market, they just walk all over and they throw them around like they don't care. I think this is maybe a couple hundred dollar rug. I have to look more into this, but it's very, could be Persian, it could be native, I don't know. Let's see the KPSIs. It's got a decent amount of KPSIs. I like the style of it. We'll have to look more into that. This little son of a biscuit right here just jumped out from behind my GoPro and tried to kill me. Whew. All right, so carrying on. How you do this right here. I don't know if people know this, but when you do your rugs, you're supposed to fold that part over because you want it to be crum crumpled over when you unfold it. So you start there, then you roll, roll it back up. That's how we always did it in the movie business. And actually, technically, you fold nice rugs. But I'm just going to roll this like, like it was. Holy guacamole. That's kind of cool, too. Look at that thing. It's very primitive. Signed or something. I like this hat though. What I don't know about it is everything. What it, where it's from, what it would cost, who made it. But that is a very nice old hat. This is handmade. This is not a cheap sombrero. That is very nice. Mm. Interesting. What is this? What does it make though? Spaceship of some form. I'm thinking this is something to make a Star Trek toy or something weird. What is it? It makes a toy. Let's what do we got in here. Cockpit, pattern display. Okay. This makes something. I don't know what it makes, but it looks very old. And I could be willing to bet this is a very pricey toy model. Let's see. We got more papers in here. 24 inch Jupiter 2 lunar models. Okay. I will have to look this up to see what it possibly goes to. I'm uncertain. But I think that is not, it's more than a hundred dollar bill. 
maybe we cry our shipping. I don't know. This is this is the type of stuff I would put on my eBay normally. This looks more like I'm gonna hold off on this one probably. Looks more like dishes for now. I'm gonna bring a couple of these back to the storage and there will be a live unboxing there where we have already have shown this. Ooh, come on, baby. Come on, baby, let the good times roll. <laughs> what is this? A special edition all resin kit. Kit number 72, Lunar Models presents. Come on, come on. Ooh, yes. We got the paint, we got the model stuff, and we got the whole spaceship. This thing is heavy, you can kill somebody with that. What the heck? Man from space. I think I had some toys of that too. Lost in space. What is that? This is pretty nifty. Very vintage. Nice. Lunar models complete. Presents special limited edition resin kit. This is a high quality item. That one is going to head home with me. I'm, I'm quite sure. Let's look. Let's look. Shucks. My internet is messed up. So we're going to continue on with this. Please be in the packages still. No. It's been put together. But that is still pretty cool. I have to see if all the parts are there. This is very old Legos. This is 74. Oh my gosh, made in Denmark like me. Well, I wasn't made in Denmark, but I'm Dutch. My name means rabbit. Swiss Villa. Nice. I used to play with these in the 80s. So they're very similar to these style. Not all fancy like they are now. 1974. And then you got the Viewmaster. I think this looks like a whole lot of stuff for the auctions. What do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know in the comments section. We got Lost in Space. Lucy. The Partridge Family. Didn't like the Partridge Family. Wasn't a bad show. I just never liked it. We got Fantastic Voyage. We got the Civil War. We've got the Beverly Hillbillies. That was a good show. I had a huge crush on her. The Hearst Castle. I don't think I've ever been there. New Orleans, I really want to go there. Oh, it's Disney. I've never been to New Orleans, so I want to go to the Mardi Gras once. Canada, never been there. Airplanes of the World, I've been on a plane. The Flying Nun, again, I did not really, wasn't, didn't watch that show much. Didn't watch this show. I don't think I watched this show. I've been over this bridge a million times. $1,000 million dollar duck, I don't think I've ever seen no million dollar duck. Wonderful World of Disney, Scenic USA. The Star Trek classic right there, the Brady Bunch. Okay, this is a whole little lot just for the auctions right there. We'll carry on. We got the Viewmaster, and this goes to something. Lost in Space, Jupiter 2 classics. Oh. <laughs> Do they really have an Electrolux toy? Did they really have an Electrolux toy? Because this guy collected Electroluxes. I'm interested in what this is, a Model G. That's kind of tight. This is That's unusual because I, I've never seen anybody collect le Electroluxes, let alone... I've got the whole world in my hands. Gumby. That's Pokey. I used to love playing with Pokey too. And Gumby back in the day. Look at these little creatures. Lost in Space, 1998 production, 1997 keychain. All right, so I'll make, it'll be some cool little lots of toys coming up, I can promise that. These ones are really old, who is that? A little Vernon Shirley or something? It was this freaking, the love boat? I think it freaking is the love boat, bringing you wishes from another place. I used to watch that show, and I don't know if that's the uh, <laughs> this, the words, but I just make up words when I want to. It's, that's pirate life. You do what you want, when you want. As long as you abide by the law. Look, it's a troll. It's a keyboard warrior. Hey, I know best. Look at me. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. All right. We got... Ooh, this one's heavy. Come on, be a million dollars. Jesus, nope. Could be. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. James Bond, Corgi. Now, it looks like we got a lot of stuff for the auction, guys. We've got G, I, Joe, my, the whole thing's ready to fall, too. This goes with the other lot that will already be sold. 1994. Lesney toy, very old. Ooh, look at that, mobile. 
This is a good one right here. The Batmobile. Looks like we got some red lines coming. Woo, 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 woo. Look at that. We used to have a pink one like that. Now that right there. I got to look this one up. Because that is a different color. And I think that's a good car. Ooh, this one I think is too. What is this? This is a Barracuda. Ooh, Barracuda. Dun, 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 dun. A golf toy. The Lola GT70. I've never seen this one in this color. I don't know if I've seen that one. So, what matters a lot is the colors of these. Sugar Caddy. I will put these in the auction, but I have to look them up. Trust and believe I can't just sell a million dollar car. Not that they even go for a million, but these are really nice. Twin mill. That is a good one, too. Matchbox Alpha Cabrero. That's not a red line. We have a Matchbox Unimog. Ooh, we got the Robin. Look at that. Where's your sidekick Batman at? And a, one of those. A helmet. And then we have a Shelby all right this is pretty tight i'm actually really really I, I i don't know i don't know but i think this one box pays for it all i'm 569 dollars deep on this entire storage unit we do have some cards here but i don't lost in space they're kind of a newer set i'm just going to set them aside i'm going to pick all this whole box will go home everything you see here will pretty much be on the youtube auctions and yeah that's what i'm, I'm feel free free saying we've been starting this no new reserve auction so if you guys do go, come to my auction we everything starts at like whatever you guys say and if it doesn't sell for more it doesn't sell for more so this box right here looks so juicy i'm gonna have to take it home and look at it yep this box is going home. That looks like a very, very, very juicy box here. What do we have? A stamp album? A stamp album? Oh, yes. A coin star video. And it looks like more stamps. I'm going to take this box home and we will do this here in a little bit because I want to. I got to get home to take uh, my youngest, Eviana, to her piano class. could be kind of cool it's a nice radio it just has this feel like you're touching it and it's like mm. i have to look into that more deeply just regular cute little trays a couple of them well, that's a little bit nicer of one but it's still just a tray trays are kind of out of style out of style um, well, this is unique the way they have this wrapped in here is come on oh my yes i don't see a marking on it but it's hand spun i wish it had a maker's mark it's still very old i'm gonna have to get some research done that's why i was concerned about this year because i saw this onslaught of like chinese antiques and then even the stuff says chinese fragile stuff on the box <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh, it says China, but I still think it's good though. Look at that. That has to go to Alameda. There's no way else to deal with it. Very nice bowl though. That's got to be a hundred to two hundred dollars easily. Easily. Let's see. Um, this looks like a good final box here. We're going to do this box and then we're going to call this video a wrap. I don't know what's in here. But it seems like it's going to take us a minute. <laughs> Chinese Jade? Chinese Jade? Are you serious? Are you serious right now? I want to see what that box thing is. Maybe a jewelry box? Just a little copper. All right. Nothing, nothing too special. I thought that scared me. I thought it was a real dragonfly for a minute. Almost got a heart attack.
different angle here so that I can not have the camera bouncing and you guys can see better. Oh, oh, oh. oh look at this. Oh my. I'm going to bring this over here because we're going to go like that. I don't even know what to say at this point. This is some good, good stuff coming out of this box. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. My pants don't stay up anymore now that I lost all this weight. <laughs> oh, this is exquisite. Another unit the family didn't want. Pilot, do you want it? Sure. Families don't want the units no more. I'll come take it. Oh, yes. Come on. Come on. Something nice. I don't know what this is, though. It does not sign. It's heavy and metal. I might save that for Evianna because we just got a parrot. She got this fancy little uh, green Tuscan something or other. I forget what it's called. Cute little parrot, though. So now we have a parrot. We got all sorts of birds in the house, or animals. And we have a guinea pig, a fish. Um, that is a cool pot. I bet the little woman will want that for an orchid. I will be willing to bet money, so we're gonna bring that home to her. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let the good time go. Ooh, this looks super fragile. I'm gonna set that aside for the auctions. Most everything I'm gonna to try to set aside in here from the auctions for y'all. This will probably be the final box in this unboxing and then we'll move on to a new video. That is kind of neat too, what in the heck? It looks like it would hurt you too. This whole box is pretty epic. Come on baby, what else we got in here? like something Picasso made, to be honest with you. Be very careful, Mike. You know, I pretty, I could, when I'm careful, you know it's something intriguing because I'm not like that careful very often. This is made in Hong Kong. Very nice. Taking my time on this stuff. That's unique. That is nice wood. Ooh, another one of these. I don't know what they are. Very Rose Village feeling. Very unique. More of these clay birds. Salt and pepper shakers, P1, pure one. Those are not as cute. That is different. not have left the jade handle up. Let me know if you guys are liking all these things. I don't know about these ones. These ones I'll probably set aside. These don't seem like they're very impressive to me. They're not, they're not useless. Don't yell at me. Hi, you don't know what you're talking about. I sold 6,000 pairs of those last year. Um, I'm just saying they're not, there's different levels of value here. All right. Something goes on that. Japan. Interesting. Maybe we haven't got to it yet. Grapes. Are those the grapes of wrath? Hmm. 
That's kind of cool. It's got a worm or a stick in its mouth. It's not bad for brass. I don't know if I would put something like that in the auction. It's kind of bulky and heavy. Maybe we could build a whole lot of stuff for it. And then there is this. What is this? I've never seen one of these. Ooh. What goes in there? Very, very old. I have no idea. Is that worth some bucks? Is this something we should put on the auction? Wow. This unit has been quite exciting. We found quite the amount of things that are pretty trippy. Believe it or not, we have a lot more to go in this storage. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen boxes. And I'm quite certain they're gonna be promising because they all just say the cool, same cool things. This one says painting fragile. This one says nice fragile items, fragile outdoor pot, and more stuff. We're gonna take this box home, probably end up making a whole video out of itself on that one. And then we're gonna go and we're going home to the storage right now. We're going live and doing this one live.